G'day mate, another Husqvarna 235, 236X Talk. Now this one came to me as a, a bit of a service to get it going again. I found a few problems and I have come across this before. Um, the person who's got this, they're cleaning out a garage from an old bloke who died. And I don't know much more about it than that. But I have seen this issue before. It didn't run very well. First thing I had to look at, the spark plug. Spark plug was loose. They've been to a house farm dealer. I won't say where, but basically they say, oh, no good, but that's what it was. They've loosened the spark plug off a ceiling still, seen a few sorts, but it's just a, a cheap trick, a cheap um, trick they shouldn't do. But they probably don't all do it. But there, anyway, it also had a um, problem with the chain brake. The chain brake on these ones, they're on the side of the cover that goes like that. I had to pull the chain back out of this one here because um, the chain back that was in this one had been cut by the owner and the parts of the cut did match up the other part so someone had come in there and snapped it off so I couldn't line up this and I couldn't for the life of me unlock it normally you can um, line up just enough to put this here and unlock it and that's it I couldn't do it so I had to put the, um, the cover in the vise I had this spare part here floating off the other one I showed you the other day couldn't hear and I had to unlock it and go click and these are so tight they're easy to put back together but trying to unlock it to get back on I say that's why they cut them because they couldn't get this cover back on but now it's back on so I've degreased most of this saw uh, I haven't gone far with it but um, I've got to tune it quickly tune it up see how it goes I've sharpened the chain the chain was sitting about uh, probably 15 degrees the hand files so now I'm, I'm sitting on 25 degrees by 60 so hopefully it will run all right now. But yeah, just simple little things like that. Just I've checked the piston cylinder. Um, piston cylinder's like brand new still. But the spark plug, it lost, lost compression, so it just doesn't idle properly. But I've degreased um, the air filter because that was filthy dirty, probably brand new. But probably the original, I should say. So I've cleaned all that out, but that's probably sucked a bit of um, degrease into the motor. So I have to run it for a while to clean it out. So I'll do a bit, a quick, um, de a quick, Tune up and then I'll take him back to the owner. Alright, hang on, forward you. Give me something. Alright, let's see how she goes. This is a big guy for this one. Straight and hardwood. It's a super, super fine spline. So, hopefully, you, it's nothing wrong with the carving. run for a while.
boys if they'll turn it off the camera. Might take some time. Well, you know, when you say to mate, yeah, no problems, I'll get it going for you. Well, this is the spare um, T36 I had before. So I haven't started before and all that. I've just started now. Had to replace the return line from the purge bowl, bowl, purge bowl back to the tank. It was fine until I put petrol on, then started split. Um, this is the one here that I tried running before. Um, it's had the fuel lines replaced, but I looked inside the carby. The diaphragms are rock hard. I thought, oh, I couldn't be bothered trying to find a carby kit. So I thought, well, I'll try this one, see if it starts. And guess what? It does start. I haven't put the air filler back on, but I've had it running just without the air filler. I thought it should be a start. It's just going down sunset now. Looks like it's oiling up now. Yeah, oil's coming out good. So, that's good news. So I'll get that together, um, and tomorrow I'll tune up in some wood and see how she goes. Alright guys, as usual, thanks for watching.